In this video, I'm going to teach you all about what you need to know to optimize your, your the rubber band for your Science Olympiad or Rice Stuff plane. Hey, what's up guys? My name is Faison. If you haven't met me before, I've competed in Science Olympiad for the past seven years and I'm here to teach you everything I've learned over the years to help you kill it at your next competition. But before we get into the video, please be sure to leave a like if you enjoyed. Drop any questions or feedback that you have in the comments below. And please consider subscribing to the channel because I post new videos just like this every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. So after you've built your Science Olympiad Right Stuff plane and you've, and you've already adjusted it for the center of gravity, there's two different things that you need to consider when cutting and using a rubber band for your plane. The first is the thickness of the rubber band and the next is the length of the loop for that rubber band. So when we start and talk about the thickness of the rubber band, there's two different aspects to it. There is the amount of turns you can put in it and the amount of torque the rubber band has. So if we start off with the amount of turns that you can put into the motor, when you have a thinner thickness of a rubber band, it's a lot easier to put more turns into that motor compared to a thicker, more uh, rubber band motor. And the other aspect is the amount of torque. Now, although you're missing out on some winds in the rubber with a thicker rubber band, thicker rubber bands tend to have a lot more torque compared to thinner rubber bands. And depending on the venue you're testing in, you're going to want to interchange the, the rubber band motors you're using. For example, if you're competing in a venue that has a really tall ceiling, then it's a lot better to use a thinner motor compared to a thicker motor because you're able to put a lot more turns into the, into the motor to keep the propeller spinning throughout the entire flight. Now, if you were to have used a thicker motor, then you would have had to have made the rubber a lot larger, which would increase the plane's weight and it may shift the center of gravity of your plane. Now, now if you're testing in a smaller venue, then it's a lot easier to use a thicker motor because you don't, you don't necessarily want to have excess turns on your motor. And if you have, um, you have a thicker motor then you don't need to put as many turns to keep your plane in the air because thicker motors have more torque. And the other aspect that you should consider when designing your Science Olympiad right stuff plane in terms of the rubber band motor is the length of the rubber band that you're using. So if you increase the length of the rubber band motor then you're going to be altering two different things. You'll be altering the weight of the plane and the center of gravity of the plane. And both of these are super important to optimizing the flight patterns of your plane. So if you're using a, a longer rubber band motor, then obviously you're going to increase the weight of your plane. So a general rule of thumb when designing the length of the rubber band motor is to use roughly one and a half one and a half times the length of the rice stuff plane to cut your motor. So um, in addition to this, if you want to if you want to adjust for the center of gravity of your plane, then you may need to cut off some excess or even leave some excess onto that rubber band motor to keep your center of gravity in the position you want it to be. Now if now if you want a more in-depth discussion on how, do you, how you can make these adjustments to your rubber band motors. I'll leave a link in the description below that will take you to my website where I go more into depth on this exact topic. And if you enjoyed the video, uh, please make sure you leave a like, drop any questions or feedback that you have in the comments below, and please consider subscribing to the channel because I post new videos just like this every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. Also, please be sure to follow me on social media. Links will be in the description below and at my tags will be at the end screen. I'll catch you guys next time. Stay unfazed.